It's left many dead in Texas, and now Tropical Storm Harvey has arrived in Louisiana. Six days since it first hit the United States coastline, hundreds of thousands of people are being evacuated as Harvey again makes landfall, this time near the Texas-Louisiana border. Flooding has devastated large areas of Texas, and Louisiana is beefing up its emergency resources, doubling its deployment of boats, helicopters, and high-water emergency vehicles. In Houston, wind speeds hit 209 kilometers an hour, and 130 centimeters of rain fell. Harvey is expected to bring winds of more than 70 kilometers an hour and rainfall of up to 10 centimeters an hour as it sweeps across Louisiana and eastern Texas. The Houston area has been the worst hit so far, with thousands of homes being destroyed and tens of thousands of people are now cramming into emergency shelters there. A hurricane comes by and it's like messing the thing up. I just like lost everything else to start again. So now I'm dragging my stuff in the back again. Fire the fire department, fire department to the hospital. The hospital sent me here. But officials in Houston say the heavy rains have stopped and they're coping. We are also setting up another shelter in the close, of, uh, close to here that should be open by this afternoon to help relieve pressure from this uh, facility as we have additional evacuees that are rescued from the high water situation. Those still in Houston are now living under a curfew. Authorities say it will run from midnight until 5 a.m. indefinitely and has been imposed to prevent looting. Relief volunteers, emergency workers and people traveling to and from work are exempt. Houston's mayor says assessing damage and how to recover is work for the future. Right now, the city is focusing its resources on rescuing people. Kerry Alexandra, TRT World.